I posted earlier about um, a lady that had gone through a parent scam. Now, the parent scam is like the grandparent scam. Um, and I hadn't seen it in Boise, but it looks like it's making its way around the country. And it's very similar. It's just a family emergency. And these are targeted, so spear phishing, actually. They're, they go on um, social media and they go through all of your information. So they'll know your kids, locations you like to be, if you, whatever you post, they'll know about you. So they'll be able to target you with your son's name, your daughter's name, what school they may go to just from the uh, basketball game you went to and you posted. So they'll call up and they have to provide some sort of panic in this case. So if it's a grandparent, it's, um, hey grandpa, I, been arrested or it's a federal agent calling and saying I have your grandson here and he'd like to talk to you or he's been arrested and we need this amount of money to get him out and he only wants to talk to you in the parent scam it's even more aggressive and it's we have your son or your daughter they're in the back of my car I picked him up and you can't ever talk to him again or you won't ever have him again unless you pay this amount of money so it's like a ransom and it's all the same. It's about eliciting that panic response so you don't think logically. You don't confirm or, or question anything and you just give them the money that they want. So um, know that they're out there. Um, if you follow me, you know that, that it occurred and um, the person that happened to put a great post out of how she felt, which if she didn't have some knowledge and a friend there, she probably would have paid the money. If they're attacking the people that you love the most, sometimes you don't think. So uh, make sure that you're able to take a step back. Your, your child is probably not being kidnapped. Um, confirm with the school. Um, your grandson has probably not been arrested. Confirm with your grandson. If anybody tells you don't call the police or don't um, contact your grandson, that's a, a great big red flag that it's a scam. So again, question everything, confirm. Just know that it's out there and don't fall victim to it.